Got it, coach. Tabata squats, eight rounds, 20 seconds as many squats as I can do, and I get a 10 second break in between. That's sweet. Let's get started. Hey buddy, are you okay in there, man? You need some water? You need some help? Oh, uh, I'm good. I'm good, coach. Uh, just gotta use the restroom. All right, I got this. Today is the day. I will overhead squat. Some of you might be having some flashbacks about your first day's experience here or uh, maybe looking back at maybe your first PRs or maybe at your point where you haven't PR in a very long time and that's what we're going to discuss today is kind of the natural progression of uh, development right it's a topic that uh, is probably missed a lot I probably don't do a good enough job of explaining it and so let's uh, let's dive into it today okay so on this board I'm going to draw out a little diagram Right, to kind of illustrate some different uh, relationships between the time that you're training uh, with how fast you're going to be progressing versus the rate of results you're going to be seeing. Okay, We're going to start off with this top line, which is going to be your genetic potential. Yeah. Okay. So at some point, everyone has a certain genetic potential that you're born with that you have uh, like an ability to start to pursue. All right? Some of you might be closer to that potential, and some of you guys might be a little further away from that, from uh, more on the cash potato side, right? So think of this as a cash potato. This is your absolute potential, okay? When you first start training, you're gonna start to see results coming pretty quickly, very rapidly, because your body's so deconditioned that anytime you even look at a barbell, you're probably gonna set a new record in PR, right? And so we're talking about in terms of years here, so maybe one, two, three, four and five years and beyond. Your first year is what we consider your honeymoon phase, right? And you're gonna PR everything. You're gonna see so much results, so many gains, and then you're gonna to start to notice that it's gonna to start to taper a little bit towards your second year and so, okay? The further you get down the line, you're gonna notice that the closer you get to your potential, right? You're gonna to start to see some decreases in the amount that you'll be PRing, right? Or how fast you'll be progressing. So, the rate that you're actually progressing, you're gonna see some really fast results over here, but as time goes by, your rate of seeing progression starts to decrease as you get closer to your potential, okay? And so, the further you go along in training, right, the more complex the training has to become, so we'll call this complexity, so that you can continue pursuing your potential, okay? And uh, here's a tricky thing, right? So for most people, the first um, three years here, you can pretty much like follow the programming. It doesn't really matter what option you choose, whatever you're doing, as long as you're working out consistently, you're gonna see those consistent gains, right? Past this point, usually when people hit their three year mark, now we gotta be a little bit more mindful of a lot of different things, right? So a couple freebies that are within your control that will help you continue uh, inching towards that potential is going to be being more mindful of your nutrition, right? So you can't out train or you can't out train your food. You gotta make sure that the nutrition is dialed in, right? The other thing is your recovery, right? Two things that are big that go outside of the gym. And these two things will affect whether you're gonna continue seeing results or you're gonna be stuck on a plateau, okay? So recovery comes in the form of um, are you mobilizing after workouts, before workouts? Um, are you getting enough sleep, hydration, all that good stuff, okay? From then, we're going to look at um, your programming, okay? So now you need to be a little bit more specific about the skills that you choose 
and the weights that you're using and also the levels that you're participating in the training all right there's certain things that you're probably going to need to maybe scale up and maybe there's some weaknesses that you actually need to scale down on that movement so you can keep the intensity up which will help you continue growing in that position right um, same thing when it comes to the skills as well okay from there some external things that you can do bang for your buck to continue your results jump into a specialty program right these are our six week blocks that our coaches run uh, that we see some really really fast gains because you're you're specifically adapting to a certain um, uh, part of training whether it's weightlifting whether it's powerlifting whether it's endurance or cardio okay so jump into a specialty program okay and then another array is to get some individualized help all right so these are why we have periodic pt sessions with our coaches and that's why we want you to be meeting with them so that you can sit down and assess your goals, assess where your current performance is at, so that you can tweak the program or maybe add in some additional homework or um, modify certain things so you can keep that potential going. Okay? Um, I drew this curve. It's a pretty, uh, pretty smooth curve, right? But if we take a little snapshot of what's going on inside of these, right? Then I'll kind of blow it up over here. If we take a snapshot of that, it's really not that linear, right? You're going to see some advances, regressions, plateaus, advances, regression, plateaus, and that's the normal path of mastery, right? You're going to see some ups and downs within this little curve right here, okay? And that's if you're training consistently. You will see plateaus even if you're training consistently. It's just part of the process of learning and having your body adapt, okay? What isn't accounted in for here, let's say you have a baby. Right? You're going to see a little dip, right? You might see a bigger dip over here because maybe you're not getting in the gym to train as much. Maybe uh, recovery is not there. Maybe your food is going to the dumps, right? Or maybe you're traveling for work. Um, whatever life, like uh, speed bumps, throw, you, uh, throw its way towards you, you're going to see some bumps along this curve, right? This is a very ideal curve, kind of meant for like people who are training professionally, right? So, we're here to train for life. You gotta find some balance between being here in the gym all day versus actually living life, right? So I just want you to understand that this is the path that we take, right? When you first start off, you're gonna see some really quick advances, right? But as the years go by, the amount of, that, you're be, that you'll be PRing will start to decrease and decrease as you start getting closer and closer to potential. Is anyone there at their potential yet? I guarantee you they're not. We still have plenty of room to keep on growing, one way we're going to grow, especially after three years, is to make sure that one, your nutrition recovery are as optimal as we can make it. Uh, you're using the programming correctly to help you uh, help drive yourself towards your goals. You can get additional support through jumping into specialty programs or meeting with your coach and starting to tweak the programs or getting some individual work so that you can continue closing that gap against that, that potential. All right, guys, some big ideas, but if you understand this, you will enjoy training a whole lot more. And uh, I've been in this for almost 10 years now. I still love training, uh, but I, I embrace the ups and downs, everything that comes with it because it's part of the process. All right, get after it. Thanks for watching, and then see you next time.